Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan, and today I'm just going to be giving you guys a quick overview, a quick guide for dismantling items. Just to give you guys a general idea of what to look for, uh, what to look into more if you're interested in specific things, and just to allow you guys so you don't uh, fill up your vault with 500 uh, weapons like I did. So just so you guys can delete them on the spot or decide which types of things you're going to throw in your vault and look into deeper later and that kind of stuff. So if we start with armor... Uh, you're going to look at a piece of armor and you're going to see here that this armor, I'm keeping it because it has a high mobility stat and a high strength stat. With all of the other stats, very, very low. Now, when you're looking at armor, you want to look at the stats, which you can see in the middle there. Mobility, uh, resilience all the way through intellect and strength. And you're going to decide kind of which types of builds you're looking for. Or if you just want the highest stat number total or maybe high in a certain thing, you don't care about anything else, it's completely up to you and you get to decide which of these things you're going to look for, which you're not going to worry about now, if you're going to worry about it later, that kind of thing. Um, you can see that it is a stat level of 50. So that means that if I put a mod on it, then it will get up to 60. And if I masterwork it, then it will get up to 70. But if I look at the one I'm using... Uh, this is at 70 or just about here, but it's not masterworked yet. So that means that it will go up to 79. And then if I look at this one here, this one goes all the way up to 81 and it is masterworked. So I just wanted to, uh, to give you guys a little generalization there. Uh, generally, the higher the number is at the bottom, then the higher that, then the better that the thing is just over generalized. You know, the stats and stuff is completely up to you. Now you can see here though, 48 and 59, these are both exotics. So the ones that you pull from your collections will be, I think, under 50. Or that you get from Xur will also be under 50. But ones that you get from random drops or faded engrams from Xur or exotic engrams from the, the season rewards or anything like that, they all have a chance to roll much higher. So you'll see that that is higher, and then this one here is higher as well. I believe it's a 57. Yeah, it's a 57 with a Discipline mod on it, which gives it a plus 10. So that's just a brief overview for armor. You can also take a look at the different energy styles here. You can see that... Um, okay, well, I have a lot of solars. You can see that this one is arc, and this one here is solar energy. You can use different mods on them depending on the type of energy that the armor piece is. So you can just go into your collections quickly and uh, look through there and find the specific mods that you want. And then that will dictate what type of armor you're going to look for. So what energy of armor that you're going to look for. When you're looking at weapons, if you find weapons with only one perk on them, then these are weapons that you can easily discard because you can then just pull them straight out of your collections. Now they will drop, I believe, um, I think they'll drop out of your collections at like 930 or something if you're maxed out at 950. Um, or if you've gotten up a little bit higher with Pinnacle Gear, then they might drop 932, something like that. So if you have something higher, maybe it's something you want to use. You could hold on to it, but generally speaking, you can get these ones back very quickly. They're not randomly rolled weapons. Now, if we go down here, okay, all these are randomly rolled weapons, okay? Uh, so let's go here. So we're going to take a look at this. Uh, this is just a random sword that I've had in my thing. I'm not too sure on the sword perks that you're going to look for, so that might be something that you have to look into. But uh, if you go into this rocket launcher here, you can see the two perks, so Auto Loading holster, holster and Cluster Bomb. Those are decent, but those aren't the ones that I would look for. And then you're going to look for uh, what masterwork the weapon is that you're looking at. Now for certain weapons, let's say for a rocket launcher, reload speed might be very good. But for something like a shotgun, you're generally going to want range. So just do a little research, look into the specific weapons that you're targeting, and see what masterworks are good for those weapons. Along with these perks here, um, there are a lot of different perk variations that you can get with randomly rolled weapons, and some of them are incredibly better than others. So I don't know specifically for rocket launchers, but um, for example, for grenade launchers, if you get the perk Spike Nades, then it actually does allow your grenade launcher to do more damage when you're directly impacting a target. So that is something that is very desirable for grenade launchers. So that is something that most people hold on to, regardless of these perks here. So these perks here are the different variations or scopes or anything like that on any weapons that you pick up. 
they all have a great impact on whether or not you're gonna you're going to dismantle or keep those but again the specifics are personal preference and then also if you're looking for god rules for weapons then you just need to look up and see what god rules are for that specific archetype so rocket launchers for example or if you're even more specifically looking for a god rule for a specific weapon then you just look up what those are and then you just try to match up the perks and stuff accordingly accordingly now i did record this already and it ended up at 10 minutes long so hopefully i think this is half as long so uh hopefully this helped you guys and gives you a general idea of what you can dismantle and just allow you guys to declutter your banks and stuff so thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helped have a great day everybody Soak it in and let it marinate. It's time to hustle up and run through barricades.